Hello everyone, I'm John and this is Just the Gearhead. And in today's episode, we're gonna chop up the old frame for the Buick. So in today's episode, like I said, we're gonna chop up the frame for the Buick. There's a reason for that. But as you notice, I got some new lighting. The last episode was pretty bad for lighting quality and this camera really doesn't like low light. It goes really grainy. So after seeing the footage from last the last episode, I decided to go out and purchase some new lighting. So hopefully that makes some better videos for you guys. So like I said, we're gonna chop up the frame for the Buick and hopefully we'll get onto those reinforcement plates for underneath the Buick as well. The reason we're chopping up the frame is I've decided to use the last few feet of the original frame with the bumper mounts and that to fix the issue with the uh, spare tire wheel well. I want to keep the spare tire wheel well so I don't want to cut that out so the old frame is wide enough to go around it so I think I'll cut off the last few feet of the last frame, weld it into the new frame and that'll take care of that problem. Um, I'm also going to chop off the bumper mounts off the front in case I need those for later, which I probably just make my life easier later. And the other reason is, is the local telecommunication company is doing a bunch of work out in front of my house. So I can't park out there for the next week or two probably. So I need a parking spot. And the only other parking spot is that one there where the frame is currently sitting. So we're probably going to actually lop it right in half, push it up as far up to the fence as I can and get it out of the best out of the way as I can. And then, so I at least have a place to park the uh, Chrysler 200 somewhere. All right, so I'll uh, we'll just go get to that. Okay, right, these are the two pieces I wanted to keep because it has the rear bumper brackets and everything on it. And then that one's the front one. So, yeah, we're going to hang on to these in case we need them. And now, we're going to have to figure out what to do with this. I did call a guy to scrap metal removal. He doesn't call me back. And like I guess I would need this out of the way. So, we will see if we can just maybe cut it up or move it out of the way or something. Change of plan. I think I'm actually going to cut off some of these nuts because I might be able to reuse them. It might save me some time with making a new one later. So I don't know because the, I'll have to I'll have to make new ones for the other frame anyways. So if I cut these ones off, I might just be able to reuse them. So maybe we'll do that.
that'll be it for this episode of uh, Just the Gearhead. It's probably going to be a little bit shorter of a video. I ran out of uh, cutting discs for my uh, grinder. I got the front and rear sections of the frame I wanted off. I got the body mounts off that I may or may not reuse. And we got it rolled around to the alley side up against the garage so it's not blocking alley, but I'm sure my neighbors will love that because I need that spot for the 200, like I said. I got a call out to a couple of guys to maybe come take that away. So we'll see what happens, but hopefully I can get rid of it. Thank you for watching and uh, please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you want uh, merchandise, uh, shirts, stickers, and posters and stuff, uh, check out my red bubble link in the description. I think I got that right. I think so. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.